time I, I saw I, I met him, you know, I'll, I'll keep it real with you. Everything I ever say about somebody is not slander. You know what I'm saying? Like, even him. I, I like what he did with the UN and, and feeding poor people in Africa. I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, it's, you know what I mean? But I don't, you know, but when it comes to the tough guy and the hardcore rapping, you can't do that. Like, you know, when I, you know when I met him? He was writing raps for, for Diddy on, on Forever, right? And this is after this is after he got poked up. This is after Gotti and them poked him up in the hit factory, and he ran to the cops, and he got an order of protection. And he was walking around with, with a with police, and YPD was holding him down. Swear to God, swear to God, he was in Daddy's house, in in the lounge, and he had security, and he ain't sold one record. He ain't even put an album out yet. You know what I'm saying? And he had security with him. Now, if he was really a gangster, he would have, like me, I've been through my little difficulties while I was in the industry, and when anything popped off with me, I came back with that ratchet, aired it out, and, and I stayed with that ratchet on me. Stayed with that ratchet on me. I ain't had no security. I ain't had nothing. I was living on Park Avenue with Diddy, and I had that ratchet on me, two ratchets on me, because when it was going to go down, it was going to go down. I was airing everything out. And because and, and, I'm a real dude. Listen, do I deserve a trophy for that? Do I deserve, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I ain't saying that, man. Whatever. I, I do what I do. But I'm saying, these kids be acting like they like me and they not. Because I've seen them in them situations. I've seen them in them positions. We ain't talking no rap. We talking about when you got poked up in the hit factory. What did you do? If you was a tough guy, if you was really bout it, bout it, you'd have been in daddy's house with your ratchet. You know what I mean? And, and, and if anybody ran up on you, you'd have gunned them down. That's what dudes from the street do. He, he wasn't famous. You know what I'm saying? They like Hove, like in the, in the Kit Kat. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Hove was already, you know, selling millions of records. So, you know what I'm saying? So, of course, you got to have security with you because you don't want to blow that investment. He was nobody. Nobody knew who he was. He was hiding from Irv Gotti and Murder, Inc. You know what I'm saying? So, so how could I respect that? How could I respect that? He's the reason that Irv got indicted. He's the reason that Kenneth Supreme is in prison for the rest of his life. Because he's scared. He's scared of them dudes. Those are the worst dudes. They're scared. Dudes be hitting me, yo, you know, you know, uh, Curtis Jackson going at the same dudes that you going at. Why, why don't y'all team up? And I'm like, yo, I, I can never do that. Supreme sitting in prison for the rest of his life. I, I could never do that. I don't talk to Irv every day. But I could just never do that. Irv faced it was going to be lights out for Irv. And I know he's a con confidential informant. I know that, that he went along with some other industry dude, you know, uh, executives, and I know they went to the feds, and I know they tried to destroy Irv Gotti, and they tried to destroy Kenneth Supreme because, you know, they, they too well. You know, so dudes are scared, and that's what scared dudes do. They run to the police. So you can't do that. And rap about being tough. You just can't, man. I'm not going to respect you. I'm not going to do records with you, T.I. None of these dudes, man. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. And it, it ain't no disrespect. I don't want to hurt them. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, it ain't never did nothing to me personally. But as far as where I'm from, as far as all my partners that serve in triple life, as far as Kenneth Supreme, the Sherman Worms, the MKs, the Max Bs, I, I just could never betray who I am, you know what I'm saying, and, and affiliate with these kids unless they change the content of their raps. You know what I'm saying? If they did that, if they stopped rapping about what they not, if they went the LL Cool J way or they just went as a spectator, yo, this is what I see in the streets. You know what I'm saying? This is what I see, but, you know, I'm not about that. If they started giving money to, to inner city kids to go to college and, and have an opportunity to, to not have to live that life that they really have to live, 